as does coach Sean O'Regan and we start right away with the three-pointer launched in by Kamaya Smalls. Now for the Dukes, off it goes to Reynolds. All full court pass down for the layup, easily up and in for Lexi Barrier. It's had foul issues. Here's a three-pointer by Smalls. There is the tray. Point guard with it in her hands. Now it's Reynolds. Reynolds over the right side. One-on-one -on -one it is with Smalls. She'll whip it back to Kashuda. She'll launch the three, and that's good. Mistaken. But I'd have to research that. And Kelly Kashuda, 20 to two in the first is not too shabby. Trying to change the score, well, 20 to five. <laughs> Say Northeast again, she'll drive, pulls up. Nope, it's gonna leave it for Kelly Kashuda. And Shuda with the left hand. In the lineup is Zoe Zwirling, number one for the Huskies. And that swishes down for Northeastern. Knowles kicks it out. Barrier alone for the three, and she'll splash that one down. Whipped inside, and Merritt takes the quick shot. There's another assist. That one from Smalls. Uh, or Barron, that is, in the lineup at the same time. Here's Barron in the corner. Set shot. That's usually good, and it is. And it's been kind of fun to watch. And a bucket... Count it for Kamaya Smalls as Jen Jenko spins it back out. Watson, and that's a three. Say Watson only averaging 2.2 .2 points per game, up to eight points. She's five. Puts them over 20 points in the ball game, and the answer the other end is deposited by Smalls. You know, uh, really the status of the JMU men's basketball Dukes. They were scheduled to play here at home on Thursday against UNCW. And then at Elon on Saturday, those games have been postponed as Jenko is counseling him. <laughs> you thought that was funny, did you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> The Huskies, 10 on the shot clock, down and low as Barron finds Young for the bucket. Not looking at Young, she fooled everybody on that one. There's another three-pointer from the outside for Watson. Watson up to 11, not quite clear to come back and play. As the Dukes uh, have a few at the end of the bench injured. And as the shot clock uh, gets underneath 10, the baseline jumper is good for Taggart. And that does it for the third quarter of play. Eight innings to Long Beach State as Barrier steps back and hits the tray. As we're down to 60 seconds to go. And that'll tumble in for Ania Young. Score here. The Dukes, they do get back into the win column. So they've won 12 of last.